in the pollination control mechanisms self incompatibility is one of them so friends today we shall discuss about self incompatibility it's a type so what exactly the molecular biochemical physiological mechanisms takes place then its advantages disadvantages how we can utilize it in the breeding program all those things we shall discuss here there are two things one is self compatible and one is self incompatible whenever selfing is a principle in any crop plants we call them as self pollinated plants they are always self compatible that means the pollen of the same flower will pollinate on the stigmatic portion of that particular flower and if it is happening so they are self compatible self incompatibility is a condition when they are incompatible means the flower of the same stigmatic means the pollen of the same flower is not compatible with the stigmatic portion or styler portion or the female reproductive portion of that particular flower in literature it refers to the inability of a plant with functional pollen to set seeds when self pollinated or it's a failure of pollen from a flower to fertilize the same flower or other flowers of the same plant that means the self incompatibility is a condition if we are taking a plant and there are two flowers one flower is here and one flower is here so if the pollen is unable to fertilize it's unable to fertilize its own female part or the other flower of the same plant is unable to fertilize the female part of the same plant another flower it is known as self incompatibility now we shall discuss about the difference between self incompatibility and male sterility the two things practically speaking if we will take a single plant flowers okay self incompatibility means pollen is functional but it is not compatible means not friendly or unable to make the fertile embryo that is the condition in self incompatibility whereas in case of male sterility the pollen portion is functionless or it is sterile we may say theoretically we can differentiate it self incompatibility is here no seed set in self pollination but possible in cross pollination whereas in male sterility functional pollen failure to set seed both in self and cross pollination self incompatibility can utilized during hybrid seed production and the same in case of sterility also self incompatibility is uh, much preferred over the male sterility because most flowering plants or many of the species in the angiosperms are not having the this kind of self incompatibility make a inbuilt self incompatibility mechanism whereas male sterility can be induced by simple mutation on any other kind of uh, genetic balance theories so that easily we can utilize it in the hybrid seed production coming to the history of self incompatibility first it was observed by colleruter in 1763 in verbascum foinicum plant after that the discussion on self incompatibility was made by darwin in 1877 term self incompatibility was coined by stout in 1917 here you need to remember these three scientists when we discuss about self incompatibility so the first one is colleruter in 1763 who disc observed this particular phenomena in verbascum foinicum then discussion on this was done by darwin in 1877 and term was coined by stout in 1917 afterwards bateman in 1952 to 55 gave explanation on incompatibility in three brassica plants these are ab iparis amara then raphanus sativus and brassica campestris the process of incompatibility is reported in more hundred 300 species belonging to 70 families of angiosperms including several crop species 
It is important for the outbreeding mechanisms for normal fruit set, maintained high degree of heterozygosity and can take place any stage between pollination and fertilization. That means there is no any fast hard and fast rule that self incompatibility should happen at this particular stage. But from pollination to fertilization at any stage the pollen withdrawal or the mechanism in pollen may change to any extent so that the embryo formation may be uh, prohibited or it will be degenerated coming to the general features of self incompatibility i'll explain wherever it is required or else i'll just uh, read out the material self incompatibility prevents selfing and promote outbreeding so increase the probability of new gene combinations that means always there is possibility of genic combinations that means it can also contribute in the process of evolution whereas i already discussed in the apomixis topic apomixis they have no records that it contributed for the evolutionary process self incompatibility causes may be morphological physiological genetical or biochemical this leads to the normal seed set on cross pollination it may operate at any stage reduces homozygosity this is often inherited by a single gene that is capital s with different alleles s1 s2 s3 like that in the species population polygenes or modifying genes are known to increase or decrease the activity of s alleles always remember that here single gene with multiple alleles is the process observed in self incompatibility and there may be complementation system or there may be competition between the alleles or dominance process are observed that we shall discuss in the later slides how the self incompatibility happens that means causes or mechanisms responsible for self incompatibility here the processes are pollen grain may fail to germinate on the stigmatic surface or some may germinate but fails to penetrate the stigma pollen grain may produce pollen tube which enters to stigmatic surface but it grows well too slow but the time pollen tube enters the ovule the flower will drop sometime fertilization is affected but embryo degenerate early so what are the four mechanisms if i'll draw a pollen here okay this is pollen and here i am drawing a pistil pistil means here stigma style and ovary so in the first mechanism what will happen pollen grain will fall on here but it will fail to germinate if at all it will germinate but fails to enter into the penetrate into the stigmatic portion then again what will happen in the third mechanism the pollen tube may grow by the time the pollen means it will be so slow that by the time it reaches the ovule portion the flower may drop okay for the successful pollination to happen many of the biochemicals proteins and all those factors atp adp and all those things are required for the successful flower to remain open or to be in active reproductive stage but what will happen if the pollen tube is growing so slowly this fall this flower may fall down so that fertilization won't take place the fourth mechanism what will happen fertilization ho jayega lekin embryo degenerate ho jayega at the early stage these are the four mechanisms next is another mechanisms or dividing the mechanism into two that is stimulation of unlike unlike genotypes and inhibit of like genotypes this process is um, also called as complementary hypothesis and oppositional hypothesis this we will discuss here first one is complementary hypothesis the hypothesis was uh, proposed by bateman in 1952 what will happen here this will result due to the absence of stimulation by the pistil on pollen growth lie of like genotypes that means if there is a pollen and pistil if they are belonging to the same genotype means there will be a 
complementarity or some substance is stimulated to be produced and that will inhibit the growth of or the germination of particular pollen grain on the stigmatic surface. In other words, self-incompatibility results due to absence of substance in the pistil or po pollen which is essential for the pollen tube penetration on self selfing the pollen or pistil fail to produce a substance which is essential for the pollen to germinate or for the pollen tube growth in the style and the ovary. Thus, there is lack of substance required for stimulation of pollen germination or pollen tube growth in the like genotypes. Unlike genotypes lead to normal pollen germination and pollen tube growth due to presence of stimulation. Complementary means stimulatory type. Here, the stimulation of substance will happen. If they are like genotypes, there won't be any germination. If they are unlike, means these will be compatible with each other. So, the next mechanism is oppositional type. This is uh, here the interaction between like alleles like S1, S2 into S1, S2 leads to production of inhibitors which inhibits the growth of pollen tube in the pistil. In other words, as a result of interaction between like alleles, substance is produced in pollen and pistil which has the property to interfere with the normal metabolism of pollen grains or the pollen tube. Here inhibition कैसे होता है oppositional system में क्या होता है here the pollen is present and the pistil what will happen here here this will produce the like substance okay so that the inhibition process takes place because of the production of interaction kind of substance which leads to inhibition of that particular germination process the germination inhibition may be by three mechanisms by inhibiting the enzyme or auxin necessary for pollen tube growth or may be due to blocking of the pollen tube membrane or by inhibiting the enzyme necessary for penetration of the style. Coming to the types of incompatibility. There are different uh, classifications of cell incompatibility system. The first is single locus self incompatibility. Based on this, there are two things. One is gametophytic self incompatibility and sporophytic self incompatibility. Single locus self incompatibility can also be classified as homomorphic self incompatibility where again we will find the same classification that is gametophytic and sporophytic. The second is two locus gametophytic self incompatibility. Here in gametophytic self incompatibility only unifactorial and bifactorial will come. Okay. This we shall see later. Then heteromorphic self incompatibility, cryptic self incompatibility and late acting self incompatibility. So I have made a broad classification of this whichever is important. I have not listed cryptic and all those things here. So first we shall start from here. Based on the interaction between pollen and pistil, we classify it as complementary. Complementary means stimulatory system where I have already discussed in the previous slides that in case of stimulatory type, the, G, the pollen and pistil having same genotype will produce a stimulating kind of substance which won't be able to germinate means that won't allow the uh, germination of pollen or uh, many of the mechanisms will be inhibited by this uh, complementary system. So here pollen and pistil together provide a substance which stimulates pollen germination growth of the pollen tube. If the pollen grain differ in self incompatible genotype from that of the pistil then what will happen here flower abscission is the common process and this mechanism is observed in dendrobium. Complementary system is most common type whereas oppositional system is inhibitory type. Here what will happen? Pollen and pistil will produce substance which prevent pollen germination or pollen tube growth if the pollen has same incompatible reaction as that of pistil. This uh, oppositional system has simple genetic control. This is also found in Graminae, Cruciferae, Solanaceae and the most common type is 
oppositional system complementary system is least common type sorry i have told you like uh, complementary is most common but it is not complementary is the least common type okay so classification based on morphological differences based on morphological differences we differentiate into heteromorphic system and homomorphic system in case of heteromorphic system this means here flower of different morphology have or different compatibility groups in different morphological processes like diastyle and tristyle means based on the stylar length may be long medium short like that the based on stylar length the classification is done here like diastyle here short style and long style example are sweet potato buckwheat primula here six highly linked genes are for present like l1 l2 g s p and a in case of tristyle this is controlled by three process like short medium and long style this uh, tristyle condition is common in lithrum silicaris silic silic here s s and mm kind of genes are found then uh, we shall move to the homomorphic system based on the morphological differences we differentiated as homomorphic and heteromorphic we discussed about heteromorphic now about homomorphic system homomorphic system is controlled by the genotype of pollen or the genotype of mother plant here this is again uh, modified classified as gametophytic self incompatibility and sporophytic gametophytic self incompatibility was uh, explained by east and mangelsdorf in 1925 in uh, nicosiana centre then sporophytic by huggis and babcock in 1950 in crepis foetida so, so gametophytic system is the self incompatibility reaction of pollen which is controlled by its own genotype means genotypic self incompatibility is controlled by the genotype of pollen not uh, from the mother plant genotype but whereas sporophytic system here incompatibility is governed by the genotype of the plant on which the pollen is or the, the incompatible reaction is produced gametophytic system is again divided into monofactorial bifactorial trifactorial and tetrafactorial so monofactorial is most common then bifactorial is controlled by two genes trifactorial by three genes and tetrafactorial by four genes here monofactorial is controlled by one gene example trifolium nicotiana then lycopersicum solanum petunium this is uh, most commonly distributed self incompatibility generally considered as ancestral type here si controlled by single gene with multiple alleles referred simply as gametophytic self incompatibility here types are fully incompatible partially compatible and fully in fully compatible partial compatible and fully incompatible then there is a bifactorial mechanism here self incompatibility is controlled by two genes these are s and z here genes are unlinked and exhibit multiple allelisms the alleles of s and z should match with in pollen and stigma for inhibition to occur that means if s and z genes are not showing the uh, kind of interaction then there won't be presence of self incompatibility characters of uh, this uh, uh, bifactorial incompatibility like homozygosity at one of the two loci is common then homozygotes at both the loci is not found heterozygotes at both the loci show partial incompatibility then polyploidy has no impact on self incompatibility this uh, we shall discuss in detail on the further slide 
Monofactorial gametophytic self incompatibility is again controlled by two processes one is selfing and sibbing to keep the self incompatibility intact for over the generations we should follow selfing then only 100% cross fertilization is achieved but if we are going for sip pollination because where the self incompatibility is a process generally practiced in cross pollinated crops if it is uh, maintaining or maintained by selfing over the generations what will happen there will be inbreeding depression pro problem so if we will go for uh, sip pollination what is the problem here in sip pollination there will be segregation of 25 is to 50 is to 25 means 1 is to 2 is to 1 kind of segregation will be forming then this is like uh, fully compatible half compatible and incompatible again divided as then when we go for uh, fully compatible if monofactorial gametophytic process is there we will find 25 percent of uh, compatible kind means uh, this kind of monofactorial gametophytic then 50 percent of sporophytic sporophytic is controlled by dominance process and 25 percent of sporophytic codominance process if half compatible means half compatibility is not found in sporophytic system because partial compatibility is only found in gametophytic so that 50 percent of the compatibility and 50 percent of partial compatibility is found in gametophytic whereas incompatibility reaction is found in 25 percent with monofactorial gametophytic 50 percent in sporophytic and 75 percent if it is governed by codominance and sporophytic incompatibility process now the other classifications we can see based on the genes or number of genes involved monoallelic triallelic polyallelic i told about monoallelic biallelic triallelic and tetraallelic in beta vulgaris we will find the tetraallelic kind but uh, genes involved like monoallelic diallelic and polyallelic means controlled by many genes then cytology of pollen binucleate and trinucleate condition in binucleate pollens with two nuclei and trinucleate means pollens with three nuclei then expression sites it may be ovarian stylar or stigmatic means that is pistillate part so now we shall uh, discuss the individual classification in a broad way so heteromorphic self incompatibility was classified as dry styly and tri -styly. Dystyly means both stamens and pistil are of two types that is pin type and thumb type. So in the figure if you take the pistillate part okay closely observe here pin type pin means long one thumb type means short one long style is there means it is pin type flower with long style and short stamen is pin type then flower with short style and high stamen is nothing but thumb type it is determined by a single gene with two alleles crosses uh, made here like pin and pin pin is always expressed in small letters smallest smallest and thumb as capital S smallest that is in heterozygous condition and pin is always in homozygous condition when we cross pin and pin that will lead to self incompatible process thumb and thumb means again self incompatible but if we cross the pin and thumb then only compatible reaction will happen means here, is, here there is a broad scope for pin into pin and thumb into thumb kind of crosses so that we can achieve the self incompatibility the another one is tristyly condition for example for dystyly is primula and for uh, tristyly the mechanism is governed by three kind of situations one is short style okay in pin what we observed long style and uh, short stamens so here the short style then medium style and long style are the three conditions in tristyly this is controlled by two genes that is s and m or s and z s given rise to short style s and m to medium style and small s and small m 
here you can see small s and small m means that is long style that means if it is in recessive condition style is length is long the number of possible genotypes is greater but one is to one kind ratio exists between the individuals of each si type it is known in lithrum silic silicaria in this case the style of the flower may be short long and medium next is mechanisms of single locus self incompatibility the best studied mechanism of single locus self incompatibility that is by inhibiting the germination of pollen on stigmas or the elongation of pollen tube in the style these mechanisms are based on protein protein interactions and the best understood mechanism is controlled by single locus termed as ests which has many loci or at one loci there are many alleles okay loci is a place where the alleles are situated this is a loci if we take a gene the position in the chromosome or on chromosome where it is located is called as loci okay at a loci what we can find we can find many number of alleles or single one allele two allele always they are alternative forms of alleles according to mendel but we may also find the multiple alleles if it comes to self incompatibility process that is termed as capital s despite their stimulus morphological and genetic manifestations these mechanisms have evolved independently and are based on different cellular components therefore each mechanism has its own unique s genes the so far we differentiate about between uh, heteromorphic see things okay dry style and tri style now homomorphic self incompatibility and its types homomorphic system is defined as type of self incompatibility in which flowers have similar morphology it results due to physiological causes rather than difference in flower morphology okay there won't be any flower morphological differences but physiological differences always remember in homomorphic system physiological differences are given much emphasis here the controlling mechanism is s genes again with multiple alleles two types are gametophytic and sporophytic what will happen in gametophytic there are three things fully compatible partial compatible and fully incompatible here there is a figure okay the alleles here competition kind of mechanism happens like s1 s2 is the genetic constitution of pollen okay and the stigma or the pistil part is also having the s1 s2 kind of genetic constitution then what will happen there will there won't be if similar kind is there there won't be any germination okay so there is one more second kind s1 s2 is the pollen condition and s2 s3 is the condition in pistil that means in female part in that situation what will happen here s1 and s2 because the allelic constitution is different on pollen as well as on the stigmatic surface so the germination of pollen tube will take place wherever there is different alleles are present s1 s2 are different so the germination is taking place here then in case of third kind that is fully compatible what is here s1 s2 is the pollen condition and s3 s4 is in the pistillate condition so pistil condition so what will happen interaction is full and compatibility so that there is a germination process taking place over here the rule or this uh, gametophytic system is followed in potatoes wild tomatoes like solanaceae family members like uh, tobacco roses bajra rye sugar beet etc the rule here is s alleles are extremely polymorphic that is there is an abundance of multiple alleles in the population incompatibility is controlled by s alleles in the haploid pollen grain thus pollen grain will grow in any pistil that does not contain the same in gametophytic self incompatibility only again we classify as monofactorial and bifactorial so we shall see some of the characters of monofactorial self incompatibility this kind is widely distributed considered as ancestral type fully partial compatible and fully incompatible types then 
pollen grains are liberated at binucleate stage pollen germination is slow due to incompatible style and slow pollen tube germination all the plants are heterozygous to s alleles homozygotes are not produced pollen tube growth inhibition is at the top third portion of the style this is a very important point pollen tube growth inhibition is at the top one third portion of the style is the peculiar character of what monofactorial gametophytic self incompatibility system here you will find the incompatibility process in many pollen tubes the gener generative nucleus fails to divide whereas vegetative nucleus disappears within four hours after germination that means the degeneration capacity is quite high self incompatible mechanism seems to mimic the sperm ejection stimulus of normal fertilization so the pollen tube bursts permanently Sometimes polyploidy overcomes self incompatibility due to competition between S alleles. Here, this point is also very important. Whenever you induce polyploidy system, if you want to get rid of the self incompatibility system, if it is gametophytic and controlled by monofactor, then you may go for polyploidy. If you go for bifactorial and uh, sporophytic system, polyploidy won't give any results to overcome the self incompatibility process. Pseudo self fertility is achieved by X ray or gamma ray treatment. Then S locus is complex and uh, may be consisting of least three genes. SI reaction may break down by inbreeding and plantlet regeneration via anther culture. There are two mechanisms to break down the SI reaction that is inbreeding and plantlet regeneration via anther culture. Remember inbreeding and anther culture process. Next is bifactorial gametophytic. Here pollen liberated at trinucleate stage. Here the in monofactorial it was bifactorial, but in case of bifactorial the pollen is liberated at trinucleate stage this is controlled by two genes that is s and z which are unlinked and exhibit multiple alleles remember s and z two genes are unlinked and they exhibit multiple alleles to attain the inhibition s and z alleles should match in pollen and stigma tetraploid cannot achieve the breakage means polyploidy won't be a solution to overcome the self incompatibility since matching of a single allele at each of the two loci in pollen and stigma lead to self incompatibility that means matching means self incompatibility no matching means compatibility in bifactorial system homozygotes at one of the two loci is common homozygosity at both the loci is not found heterozygosity at both the loci shows partial compatible when male is mating with female heterozygote at only one locus but having the same allele at the two loci as present in males however when they are used as female complete self incompatibility is attained Coming to the molecular mechanisms of gametophytic system, mostly this is studied in petunia and solanaceous members. First, we shall discuss in petunia here, all pollen grains are incompatible as well as compatible, germinate forming pollen bloom that begin to grow down the style. However, growth of incompatible pollen tube stops in the style while compatible tubes go and fertile the eggs in the ovary. The block within incompatible pollen tube is created by S locus enclosed ribonuclease. Remember, now the actual mechanism started S RNAs, which is synthesized within the style, then enters the pollen tube, destroys its RNA molecule, and halting pollen tube crowd. As you know, RNA is very essential, like mRNA tRNA, rRNA which are involved in protein synthesis as well as these are the building blocks of our nucleus. So whenever the RNA molecules are inhibited whatever what will happen their protein formation won't take place. If no protein formation means the flower existing on that particular stalk won't be there that means flower will just degenerate. 
that is the mechanism how the self incompatibility is followed in petunia what will happen here just remember there is a s rnas that is s locus encoded ribonuclease which removes or which destroys the rna molecules the RNA molecule contain hyper variable region which encoded by a different alleles which establishes each S. Specifically, pollen tube expresses a protein degenerated SLF that is S locus F box protein that binds to S RNAs. SLF also exists in different S specul uh, specific cases. Then the compatible means non-self tubes of SLF or SCF that is SKP1, QL, cutinase 1 or F box protein, ubiquitin ligase which triggers the degradation of sRNAs thus permitting RNAs in the RNAs in the pollen tubes to survive and growth to continue. That means I already told you the in petunia the mechanism like RNAs S locus type RNAs is produced and that will destroy the RNA. But there is one more thing like SLF or SCF are the proteins which are function or controlled by QL1 F box protein ubiquitin ligase that will trigger the degradation of sRNAs. So what will happen? There will be pollen tube growth and survival due to non-degradation of RNAs. In incompatible reaction what will happen? S1 SCF with S1 S RNAs blocks its degradation so that RNAs of the pollen tube are destroyed and growth is halted. The next process is two locus gametophytic self incompatibility. This is observed in grass family like this I, we already discussed so we won't discuss it again so sporophytic self incompatibility there is the second kind in homomorphic system of self incompatibility to just refresh your knowledge what we were discussing we discussed about heteromorphic system where we discussed about the diastyle and tristyle okay then we started discussing about homomorphic system where we found gametophytic again in gametophytic we divided into binucleate and monofactorial and bifactorial so that we completed now we are moving to sporophytic self incompatibility this was given by Huggies and Babcock in 1950 in Krepis foetida. Here the pollen controlling mechanism is in the genotype of pollen producing mother plant. Okay. Progeny from cross between two genotypes is either fully fertile or complete sterile. Means there won't be any kind of partial compatibility kind of system. Here multiple alleles like single gene S is controlled by multiple alleles. Dominance is the process of self sporophytic self incompatibility. Here pollen does not germinate on the stigma of the flower that contains either of the two alleles that are present in the sporophyte present which produced the pollen. The same condition is uh, applicable even though the pollen grain is haploid containing only one of the alleles. Frequent reciprocal differences are observed in sporophytic system. These points you need to remember very perfectly. Frequent reciprocal differences are observed in sporophytic system. Incompatibility can occur with the female parent. Family can consist of three incompatible groups. Sorry, only two incompatible groups that is fully compatible and fully incompatible. Homozygotes are of normal future. SI system may consist two different genotypes and found in radish, brassica, synapis. Now I'll uh, explain you the biochemical reaction how in sporophytic system and gametophytic system takes place. I didn't explain this process in gametophytic system because I just wanted to explain you that here. What will happen in gametophytic system? In gametophytic system, as I have told you, there will be perfect or functional stigmatic portion where the growth is inhibited of the germinating pollen at styler region or at the ovarian region. That means degeneration like RNAs uh, kind of degeneration will take place so that RNA will be 
functionless so what will happen for complete flower degeneration takes place in gametophytic system on sporophytic system what will happen here we find the dry stigmatic portion dry stigmatic portion means for any pollen to germinate there need to be hydration on the stigmatic surface so that koi bhi seed germinate hona hai to uske liye kafi pani zaruri hai nahi to if there is no enough moisture that seed cannot be undergoing the germination process it may go for dormancy or quiescent condition so here also the same thing we will take one uh, pollen and one pistil okay so on pollen what will happen there is lipidic protein bilayer that is a like a cuticle kind or we may say the lipidic kind of bilayer will be forming on the outermost portion that is called as csl and inside that one means the outermost covering of the pollen will be trifin trifin covering and if we come to the stigmatic portion on stigma we can find the papillated condition when it is in the sporophytic system that means papillate means the hair like condition or the pimple like structure that we call as papillate condition so pellicle is the inner structure of this particular outermost portion of the uh, stigma so what will happen whenever this particular pollen is landing on the stigma the papilla papilla should not be there that means trifin should bind on the outermost pellicle portion and when it is hydrating that trifin will uh, take into fluidic form so that what will happen it will enter the stylar portion by destroying the pectin by forming the pectinase enzyme then cutinase enzyme and all those things cellulose cutinase pectinase all those things are produced here and breaking of the pectin cellulose and cutin are the processes taking place in the stigma and stylar region so that what will happen the germinating pollen tube will enter into the ovary if it is compatible process if incompatible then what will happen pellicle will be present there in the incompatible system so what will happen it will inhibit the trifin production means there won't be any hydration means there won't be any fluidity in the trifin form so what will happen there won't be any production of pectinase cellulose like cellulose like that so there won't be any penetration peg or the pollen tube germination taking place that's how the process of gametophytic and self uh, sporophytic system takes place in simple words i'll tell you once again if you are now have not understood in case of gametophytic system the site of inhibition is stylar region so what will happen because of the production of rna kind of material rna will be degraded and there won't be further uh, any strength in the entire flower portion itself but when it comes to sporophytic system here there will be papilla production and uh, that papillate condition on the pellicle what will happen that will inhibit the trifin liquidity or germ stigmatic dry condition will inhibit the fluidity of that particular pollen so that there won't be any pollen tube growth or entering the pollen on the stigmatic surface into the stylar portion so there won't be any germination and self incompatibility will the result here what will happen only compatible and incompatible reaction here see the dominance condition is followed like s1 is dominant over s2 s3 is dominant over s4 like that so whenever there is s1 s2 condition on the pollen and s1 s2 same condition on uh, stigmatic portion Uh, is observed means there won't be any compatibility means no germination again if one of the allele is matching because here see on pollen s1 s2 is uh, alleles are found and on the 
pistil layer S2, S3 are found. So that what will happen? S1 will be dominating and S2 will be dominate. S1 will be dominating on pollen and S2 will be dominating on on the uh, pistil portion. So what will happen? Again, there won't be any germination due to the dominance process but when the alleles are completely different like s1 s2 alleles are found on the pollen and s3 s4 are found in the pistil or on the stigmatic portion so what will happen complete germination will take place because of the compatibility of the alleles next is uh, here uh, many molecular processes are uh, explained in sporophytic system comparing to gametophytic system gametophytic system is well explained with many mechanisms but in sporophytic system also there are certain mechanisms we will discuss one by one first one is s haplotype the molecular mechanism of s locus contain two basic protein coding regions one expressed in the pistil and the other on anther because of their physical proximity these are genetically linked and are inhibited as a result as a unit the unit are called as s haplotypes the translation products of the two regions of s locus are two proteins which by interacting with one another lead to arrest of pollen germination or pollen tube and elongation and thereby generate si response preventing fertilization however when a female determinant interacts with a male determinant different haplotypes no si is created and fertilization ensures that means similar genotype or similar plant incompatible one are interacting means there won't be any germination means here we shall find two things one is male determinant and one is female determinant their interaction is very important this is simplistic description of general mechanism of self incompatibility which is more complicated and in some species s haplotype contains more than two protein coating regions there will be two kind of proteins producing and their interaction leads to s haplotype production this form of incompatibility is studied in mustard turnip rape cabbage broccoli cauliflower Here again the S locus is cluster of three tightly linked loci that is SLG, SRK and SCR. SLG is S locus glycoprotein which encodes part of the receptor present in the cell wall of the stigma. SRK is S receptor kinase which encodes the other part of the receptor kinase. Here kinase attacks the phosphate group to other proteins. SRK is transmembrane protein embedded in the plasma membrane of the stigma cell. SCR is the third kind of uh, linked loci here. S locus cysteine rich protein which encodes a soluble ligand for the same receptor which is secreted by the pollen means three tightly linked loci are present in the stigmatic portion and they are involved in the inhibition process how they how it takes place is given here like see scr pollen grain is landing on the stigmatic portion okay this is the stigmatic portion you remember uh, or you consider like this so what will happen whenever the pollen grain is landing landing like this scr1 and scr2 are just adjacent to this so what will happen slg and slg2 are again on the pollen wall of stigma so scr is coming and entering here means that is blocking the path to enter into like that SRK and SRK1 and SRK2 are embedded in the plasma lemma. They are giving support to SLG and SL, uh, SCR uh, alleles. Okay. Now the structure of S loci in the sporophyte of an S1, S2 plant. See here three uh, loci, tightly linked loci are present here. One is SLG, then SCR and SRK. First, we shall see their particular position. First comes SCR, then SLG, then SRK. Shahrukh Khan, 
बहुत ही बाद में आएगा लेकिन पहले एस सी आर पहले आएगा ठीक है सो वॉट विल हैपन ही आर सी शाहरुख खान एंड में है ओके सो दिस एस एल जी ऑन द इमीडिएटली ऑन द सर्फेस ऑफ पेलिकल वॉट विल डू एंड कोर्स पार्ट ऑफ द रिसेप्टर then on the stigmatic portion then scr is also on the stigmatic portion which encodes ligand of same receptor then srk what it will do encodes the kinase domain of receptor this is the structural process or structural feature of the three tightly linked loci which are responsible for self incompatibility in sporophytic system of s kind because of the plant cannot fertilize themselves they tend to be heterozygous and carry pair of different s alleles dozens of different s alleles may be present in the population of the species that is s locus in the species is extremely polymorphic difference between the alleles is concentrated in certain hyper variable regions of the receptors now we shall summarize the gametophytic and sporophytic molecular mechanisms here uh, this table will give you the exact picture of what kind of allelic or loci are governing for a particular process and what uh, male determining and female determining proteins are produced in a particular process uh, so first we shall see the gametophytic system in this uh, this process is observed in solanaceae rosaceae scrofulariaceae that is solanaceous type self incompatibility here genes with on s locus are two male determining protein for solanaceous type of self incompatibility is slf that is s allele f box protein or sfb that is s haplotype specific f box protein female determining factor is srnas here what will happen srna enters the pollen tube somehow degrades rna if incompatibility is present okay then second is papaveraceous type of self incompatibility here male determining protein is prpsi protein s1 protein then female is s protein they say that is s locus protein what molecular mechanism takes place here rapid increase in the calcium concentration in pollen tube shank region which initiates the calcium related signal cascade so that because of the hyperactivity of calcium signaling cascade incompatibility is induced in case of papaveraceous type of self incompatibility in the second type that is sporophytic type here s haplotype in brassica just know what we discussed in the previous slides here 30 alleles are controlling as i told you this is highly polymorphic nature here male determining protein and female determining proteins are interacting uh, that i told you here three different tightly linked loci are present srk sl scr and all those things then s locus glycoprotein co segregate with the s haplotype here the another is brassicae kind or cruciferaceae type of self incompatibility here uh, genes at s locus are three the female determining uh, protein is srk that is s locus receptor kinase and male determining is sp11 that is s locus protein level or slr that is s locus cysteine rich protein the mechanism is sp11 and slr remember sp11 is present on pollen and skr is present on your stigmatic portion this protein binds to srk means sp11 or slr binds to srk in a haplotype specific manner and initiates a phosphorylation cascade so due to the phosphorylation cascade what will happen there will be self incompatibility mechanism which is activated now we shall differentiate the three kinds of incompatibility systems one is monofactorial gametophytic then bifactorial gametophytic then monofactorial sporophytic first whenever the genes governing self incompatibility reaction process is taken the number of loci involved in monofactorial gametophytic is 1 in bifactorial it is 2 and in monofactorial sporophytic it is 1 
Number of alleles in monofactorial gametophytic is multiple alleles, often 50 or more. Then in bifactorial, it is again multiple alleles, usually less than 20. And in monofactorial sporophytic, it is often multiple alleles, less more than uh, 50. We discuss about pollen grains. Self incompatibility reaction is controlled in monofactorial gametophytic by pollen genotype in bifactorial gametophyte by pollen genotype but in monofactorial by the pollen producing mother plant genotype is controlling factor the number of nuclei at the time of pollen shredding in monofactorial gametophytic is two that is number of nuclei in bifactorial it is three and in monofactorial sporophytic again it is three Somewhere the gametophytic bifactorial is similar to monofactorial sporophytic. Then pollen coating that is exine morphology is simple in case of gametophytic monofactorial. It is complex in both sporophytic as well as bifactorial gametophytic. Then pollen germination is very slow to slow in gametophytic uh, by monofactorial. It is fast in gametophytic bifactorial and sporophytic system exine perforation is imperforate or microperforate kind in gametofactor monofactorial it is perforate in case of gametophytic bifactorial and perforate or reticulate kind in case of sporophytic system stigma kind is wet in gametophytic monofactorial but it is dry in case of gametophytic bifactorial as well as sporophytic system site of inhibition is style in case of monofactorial gametofactor because gametophytic because here wet stigma that means there is no problem with the stigmatic portion but due to the germination slow germination process the style is because of the varying length in style, the process of uh, inhibition is taking place in the style in gametophactor, gametophytic monofactorial. But the stigma or dry kind of stigma is the inhibitory material or inhibitory surface for bifactorial gametophytic as well as sporophytic mechanism. The last one is effect of polyploidy on self-incompatibility reaction. We may overcome the monofactorial gametophytic kind of self-incompatibility by polyploidy or inducing polyploidy. But it is not possible in case of bifactorial gametophytic or sporophytic process. Uh, this is how the gametophytic and sporophytic mechanisms are differentiated. A gametophytic stigma is uh, smooth and wet. That means stigma is functional in gametophytic but it is dry and not, uh, uh, not allowing the pollen to germinate in the sporophytic system. The outcome of interaction between the pollen tube and style is determined by the genotype of the pollen in gametophytic but it is by the mother plant in sporophytic. S. locus products are synthesized after completion of the meiosis in gametophytic whereas S. locus products are synthesized before completion of the meiosis in the sporophytic. This is also very important point which is often asked in the competitive exams that is S. locus products are synthesized after the completion of meiosis in gametophytic system whereas it is before the completion of meiosis in sporophytic system growth of the pollen tube arrests in the style in case of gametophytic because stigma is active here but the growth is inhibited at the stigma itself in case of sporophytic system this is how if you want to see the complete picture how it happens this is just uh, the explanation or diagrammatic explanation of the previous slide okay so now we shall discuss the similarities between bifactorial gametophytic and sporophytic system there are many similarities between the bifactorial and sporophytic uh, system like pollen liberation is at a trinucleate stage whereas it is in binucleate stage in monofactorial gametophytic then exine is perforate or fast pollen germination in case of uh, this one uh, sporophytic and bifactorial gametophytic that means if we are going for any kind of surgical removal of the stigmatic portion in 
बाईफेक्टोरियल या मिटोफाइटिक और इन केस ऑफ स्पोरोफाइटिक वी मे अचीव द फास्ट ग्रोथ ऑफ पॉलिन और एंटरिंग द पॉलिन ट्यूब इन टू द ओवरी एंड फर्टिलाइजेशन प्रोसेस दैन ड्राई स्टिग्मा एंड साइट ऑफ पॉलिन इनहिबिशन इज स्टिग्मा ओके सो नाउ वी शैल डिस्कस द इंटरेक्शन बिटवीन एस अलेल्स एस अलेल इंटरेक्शन इज ऑफन फाउंड इन गेमिटोफाइटिक सिस्टम बिकॉज डोमिनेंस इज द प्रोसेस ऑब्जर्व इन स्पोरोफाइटिक सिस्टम सो हियर इन द डोमिनेंट इंट्रैक्शन विच इज फाउंड इन स्पोरोफाइटिक सिस्टम फर्स्ट वन इज टाइप वन इंट्रैक्शन हियर वॉट विल हैपन स्टिग्मा इज हैविंग डोमिनेंट प्रोसेस एंड पॉल एंड ग्रेन इज डोमिनेंट टाइप टू इंट्रैक्शन स्टिग्मा इज को डोमिनेंट काइंड मीन्स the alleles present on stigma shows codominance and in pollen grains they show dominance type 3 interaction is just reverse of type 2 that means dominance uh, allelic interaction is found on stigma and codominance on pollen grains type 4 interaction where codominance is observed both on stigma and pollen grain conditions okay so the second is competitive interaction competitive interaction is also found always found in gametophytic system here what will happen two sls present together in the heterozygous pollen grain like s1 s2 compete with the other leading to loss of self incompatibility that means s1 s2 is interacting with s2 s3 s4 means there will be uh loss of self incompatibility but in gametophytic type polyploidy doesn't lead to elimination of self incompatibility in all the cases diploid pollen may show competitive interaction codominance or dominance depending on the s allele combinations and the genetic background competitive interaction is also found between the s alleles the third kind of classification is based on site of gene expression the expression may be uh, on controlling the stigma portion stylar portion or the ovarian portion the first one is stigmatic inhibition here inhibition of pollen germination or pollen tube growth on stigma which is uh, ma where majority of the self incompatible plant species with the trinucleate pollen except in oenothera species trinucleate means that is like sporophytic system or bifactorial gametophytic system thus stigmatic incompatibility reaction is confined to the sporophytic system with some exceptions the uh, stigmatic inhibition is found in radish cabbage cauliflower sunflower etc in the homomorphic system and in linum then uh, limonium in heteromorphic system stigmatic inhibition is also found in some gametophytic grasses which are controlled by bifactorial process second is uh, stylar inhibition this is mostly found in gametophytic system here the pollen tube growth in the stylar region is a common feature of the majority of self incompatible plants with binucleate pollen that is monofactorial gametophyte here stylar inhibition is for also found in few trinucleate genera like beta helianthus the beta vulgaris like beetroot helianthus that is sunflower then bougainvillea and phagopyrin stylar incompatibility is confined to the gametophytic system Mm, some exemptions are also there the pollen tubes usually swell and burst at the apex in the upper region of the incompatible style inhibition of pollen tubes in the style takes place from few to many hours after pollen germination third kind is ovarian inhibition here some species the self incompatibility reaction occurs only when the pollen tubes reach the ovary such inhibition has been reported in theobroma coca most species in which inhibition occur in the ovary have uh, like hollow styles example in uh, narcissus narcissus then linum gastera rebis and anona kind the fourth kind is cryptic self incompatibility here this exist in a limited number of taxa like silin uh, uh, vulgaris that is uh, bladder champion which belongs to caryophyllacea family then vipers bugloss or blue weed that is ichium vulgar which belongs to baraginaceae family then water willow or swamp loose strife that is botanically called as decodon verticillatus uh, which belongs to lithraceae family 
the fifth classification is late acting self incompatibility this is termed as ovarian self incompatibility also here self pollen germination and reaching the ovule but no fruit set at all means everything is normal up to style but in case of ovarian portion there is an inhibition lsi that is late acting self incompatibility may be prezygotic that is deterioration of the embryo sac prior to pollen tube entry example this is found in narcissus triandrus or narcissus means lotus family theek hai then post zygotic this mechanism is found in um, uh, post zygotic means malformation of the zygote or embryo as in certain species like एसएलपीएस एंड स्पेथोडिया स्पेथोडिया आपने फ्लावर देखा होगा बहुत ही ब्राइट फ्लावर्स बनते हैं स्पेथोडिया कॉम्पेन्यूलेटा यहाँ पे फिगर में भी दिया है दिस इज स्पेथोडिया एंड दिस इज लोटस फैमिली लोटस में क्या दिखेगा यहाँ पे प्रीजाइकोटिक डिटोरेशन ऑफ एम्ब्रियोसैक बिफोर पोलन ट्यूब एंट्री मिलेगा लेकिन पोस्ट जाइकोटिक मालफॉर्मेशन ये मिलेगा स्पेथोडिया में so now the superior self incompatible lines for hybrid seed production should possess the characters ab tak hum classification ko discuss kar rahe the ek ek ko elaborate karke pad rahe the ab hum dekhte hain jaise self incompatible line hum select karna chahte hain in hybrid seed production what should be the peculiar character of those lines okay to ek character hai stable incompatibility rehna chahiye matlab ek generation mein incompatibility dikha raha hai and it is getting uh, broken down in the next generation aise nahi hona chahiye high seed set of self pollination at bud stage then favorable and uniform economic character desirable combining ability तो सेल्फ इनकम्पेटिबिलिटी को हम कैसे असेस करते हैं द मतलब किसी प्लांट में सेल्फ इनकम्पेटिबिलिटी है तो हम कैसे फाइंड आउट करेंगे दैट इज थ्रू नंबर ऑफ सीड्स सेट आफ्टर इट स्पेसिफिक सेल्फ फॉर क्रॉस पॉलिनेशन देन द फ्लोरसेंट माइक्रोस्कोप ऑब्जर्वेशन ऑन पोलन एबिलिटी टू पेनेट्रेट द स्टाइल मतलब जो हम माइक्रोस्कोपिक ऑब्जर्वेशन करते हैं उससे और फ्लो साइटोमेट्री से वी कैन ईजिली डिटेक्ट द काइंड ऑफ सेल्फ इनकम्पेटिबिलिटी प्रेजेंट कमिंग टू द इम्पॉर्टेंस ऑफ सेल्फ इनकम्पेटिबिलिटी इन प्लांट ब्रीडिंग मतलब कैसे हम सेल्फ इनकम्पेटिबिलिटी को प्लांट ब्रीडिंग में हार्मेस कर सकते हैं सेल्फ इनकम्पेटिबिलिटी इफेक्टिवली प्रिवेंट सेल्फ पॉलिनेशन एज ए रिजल्ट इट हैज प्रोफाउंड इफेक्ट इन ब्रीडिंग लाइक इन फ्रूट ट्रीज इट इज नेसेसरी टू प्लान टू क्रॉस कम्पेटिबल वेराइटीज टू एंश्योर फ्रूटफुलनेस due to the adverse condition if the fruit set is less by cross pollination it is advisable to develop self fertile farms matlab agar hum two self incompatible lines ko adjacent mein cross karenge to kya hoga hame dono plants mein hybrid matlab dono plants mein hame male sterile or dono mein hum hybrids ko harvest kar sakte hain सेल्फ इनकम्पेटिबिलिटी मे बी यूज इन हाइब्रिड सीड प्रोडक्शन हियर टू सेल्फ इनकम्पेटिबल बट क्रॉस कम्पेटेबल लाइन शुड बी इंटरप्लांटेड सीड्स ऑप्टेंड फ्रॉम बोथ द लाइन्स विल बी हार्वेस्टेड एज हाइब्रिड्स हियर सेल्फ इनकम्पेटिबल लाइन मे बी इंटरप्लांटेड विथ सेल्फ कम्पेटिबल लाइन तो इस केस में क्या मिलेगा हमको सिर्फ एक लाइन ही हाइब्रिड सीड मिलेगा लेकिन अगर टू सेल्फ इनकम्पेटिबल लाइन्स को साथ साथ में दो लाइन में लगाएंगे I'll just draw here for your better understanding. If this is having SI and this is also having SI and these two lines are planted adjacent to each other, so that what will happen? These two are cross compatible. मतलब इसका pollen इस plant में आ जाएगा, इसका pollen इस plant में आ जाएगा. So what will happen? Both the plants may give the hybrid seed. Means F1 को दोनों plant से हम harvest कर सकते हैं. अगर किसी कंडीशन में हमने क्या किया दो लाइंस लिया एक सेल्फ इनकम्पेटिबल था और एक सेल्फ कम्पेटिबल था तो क्या होगा इस लाइन में सेल्फिंग भी हो सकता है तो हम सिर्फ सेल्फ इनकम्पेटिबल लाइन से ही हम क्रॉस बनाएंगे तो इससे ही हाइब्रिड्स को हम हार्वेस्ट कर पाएंगे 
there are schemes to develop double and triple cross hybrids by harnessing self incompatibility uska diagram bhi hai main explain karungi self incompatibility provides a way for hybrid reproduction without emasculation and without resorting to genetic or cytoplasmic male sterility incompatibility system permits combining of desirable genes in a single genotype from two or more different sources through natural cross pollination which is not possible in self pollinate compatible species in pineapple commercial clones are self incompatible as a results their fruits develop parthenocarpically and are seedless to agar hum pineapple ki baat karenge to self incompatibility uske liye ek bone hai yahan matlab yahan pe parthenocarpically wo fruit develop hoga parthenocarpic kya hota hai seedless condition to yahan pe seeds desirable nahi hai to ye bahut hi ek commercial breakthrough hai coming to most used self incompatibility for hybrid seed production कई कभी कभी हमारे मन में आता है इतने सारे हम सेल्फ इनकम्पेटेबिलिटी सिस्टम्स के बारे में बात कर रहे हैं क्लासिफिकेशन के बारे में बात कर रहे हैं बट विच वन इज वेरी यूजफुल और विच वन इज कमर्शियली हार्नेस्ड जनरली हेट्रोमॉर्फिक सिस्टम को ज़्यादा प्रेफर नहीं करते हैं जब हम क्लासिफिकेशन की बात करते हैं तो हेट्रोमॉर्फिक एंड होमोमॉर्फिक को ही ज़्यादा डिस्कस करते हैं ओके okay? तो वी ऑलवेज टेक द होमोमॉर्फिक सिस्टम तो इसमें अगर हम कंपेयर करेंगे स्पोरोफाइटिक एंड गेमिटोफाइटिक सिस्टम तो स्पोरोफाइटिक सिस्टम नो पार्शियल इनकम्पेटिबिलिटी इसमें मिलेगा तो इसको ज़्यादा हार्नेस किया है विच इज़ हार्नेस्ड इन ब्रासिका कॉम्पोजिटे बाई डिफरेंट प्राइवेट कंपनीज बट वेन कंपेयर टू मेल स्टेलिटी सेल्फ इनकम्पेटिबिलिटी इज नॉट नॉट मच प्रिफर्ड सेल्फ इनकम्पेटिबिलिटी इज नॉट वेल अंडरस्टूड ऑफ स्पोरोफाइटिक सिस्टम लेकिन इसको ज़्यादा हार्नेस किया है इस पर ज़्यादा रिसर्च हुआ है इट अगर्स इन नियरली वन हाफ ऑफ ऑल द फैमिलीज ऑफ एन जी ओ स्पर्म्स इंक्लूडिंग सॉरी सोलनेशियस काइंड जो होता है वो गेमिटोफाइटिक होता है लेकिन स्पोरोफाइटिक होता है दैट इज मेनली ऑब्जर्व इन ब्रेसिका फैमिली तो हाइब्रिड सीड प्रोडक्शन अब तक हार्नेस किया है तो ब्रेसिका फैमिली में ही बहुत सारे प्राइवेट कंपनीज ने किया है लेकिन अगर हम गेमिटोफाइटिक सेल्फ इनकम्पेटिबिलिटी की बात करें वो सोलनेशियस में पेटोनिया बीट बटर कप्स लेलीज रोज मैनी ग्रासस में मिलेगा इन नटशल याद रखिए सिंपल टर्म में बताती हूँ गेमिटोफाइटिक इनकम्पेटिबिलिटी बहुत सारे स्पीशीज में आपको मिल जाएंगे मतलब हाफ ऑफ द एन जी में आपको गेमिटोफाइटिक काइंड ऑफ सिस्टम मिल जाएगा लेकिन स्पोरोफाइटिक सिस्टम लिमिटेड फैमिलीज मिलेगा बट क्वाइट कॉम्प्लेक्स है फिर भी इसका मैकेनिज्म स्पोरोफाइटिक सिस्टम का जो मैकेनिज्म रहता है फॉर हार्नेसिंग द सेल्फ इनकम्पेटिबिलिटी ये मैकेनिज्म बहुत ही फ्रेंडली है एंड वी कैन आल्सो टेक ओवर ओवर द जनरेशंस तो इसको काफ़ी यूज किया है व्हाट इज दैट स्पोरोफाइटिक सिस्टम तो यहाँ पे हाइब्रिड सीड प्रोडक्शन में कैसे सेल्फ इनकम्पेटिबल लाइंस को यूज़ करते हैं वो दिया है लाइन ए लाइन टू तो दोनों को क्रॉस किया प्रोपोगेटेड थ्रू बड पॉलिनेशन फिर उनको हाइब्रिड्स बनाया और एस वन एस टू अलील्स आपके हाइब्रिड्स में प्रेजेंट होंगे देन पब्लिक सेक्टर हाइब्रिड्स डेवलप्ड एंड यूटिलाइज इन कोल क्रॉप्स कैबेज में के जी एम आर वन बी आर एच फाइव ये सेल्फ इनकम्पेटिवली आई आर आई में इसको डेवलप किया था दिन कैबेज में ही एच फोर्टी थ्री एच फोर्टी फोर कैबेज मतलब स्पोरोफाइटिक सिस्टम ठीक है तो ए भी आई आर आई से डेवलप किया था फिर कॉलीफ्लावर में पोसा हाइब्रिड टू देन पोसा कार्तिक शंकर ये भी आई आर आई ने डेवलप किया था कॉलीफ्लावर में ही जिन हुआ दैट इज हीट रेजिस्टेंट इसको चाइना ने डेवलप किया था रिमेंबर दैट दिस आर द सम पब्लिक सेक्टर हाइब्रिड्स डेवलप्ड बाई यूजिंग सेल्फ इनकम्पेटिबल मैकेनिज्म आई आर आई ने एंड जेमन एग्रीकल्चर रिसर्च इंस्टीट्यूट चाइना ने ये कैबेज एंड कॉलीफ्लावर में स्पोरोफाइटिक सिस्टम को हार्नेस किया ओके सो नाउ फिर बहुत सारे वेराइटीज भी हैं जैसे कि आई आई वी आर ने डेवलप किया था आई आई वी आर वन जो कॉलीफ्लावर में फिर आई आई वी आर फिफ्टी काटकी अर्ली ट्वेंटी नाइन हाजीपुर फोर पूसा फोर 
Aghani JBT 23, Late Aghani, Aghani 8, Pusa Hajipur, Aghani Long Leaf, Aghani Small Leaf, Kuwari 1, Kuwari 12. This is cauliflower mein self incompatibility se develop kiata. Fir radish me new uh, posa ayara ne posa chetaki posa desi half red number 30205. Fir Chinese pink. BDJ 689 उसके साथ साथ में थोड़े मेल sterility के लाइन है अगर आप interested हो तो देख सकते हैं but uh, here we are purely discussing on the self incompatibility and that is uh, concentrated in cauliflower and radish now limitations of harnessing the self incompatibility system it is very difficult to produce homozygous inbred lines in self incompatible species bud pollination has to be made to maintain the parental lines matlab bud pollination quite uh, difficult hota hai to isko karna laborious hota hai self incompatibility is affected by environmental factors like temperature and humidity matlab agar bahut hi humidic condition hai agar hum sporophytic system ko use karne ja rahe hain matlab sporophytic mein kya hota hai dry stigma hota hai lekin jab high humidity hai up to 90% environment mein humidity hai tab kya hoga dry stigma wet mein convert ho jayega by taking the environmental moisture to kya hoga self incompatibility break ho jayega hybrid seed Sometimes uh, bees visit only one parental line in the seed production plots resulting in seed mating. मतलब self incompatibility को हम selfing से control कर सकते हैं और we can keep it over generations by the process of selfing. अगर हम seed mating में जाएंगे अगर again segregation होगा वो बताया था मैंने one is to two is to one में segregate हो जाएगा okay तो प्रॉब्लम क्या है कंटीन्यूअस इनब्रीडिंग से कंप्लीट लॉस ऑफ इनब्रेड हो सकता है क्योंकि मैं बोल बात कर रही थी कि सेल्फिंग करके मेंटेन करते हैं सेल्फ इनकंपैटिबिलिटी को लेकिन अगर हम कंप्लीट इनब्रीडिंग करते जाएंगे तो इनब्रेड डिटेरेट हो जाएगा वीक हो जाएंगे फिर हाइब्रिड सीड वुड बी एक्सपेंसिव if sib lines are difficult to maintain agar sib pollination karte jayenge to kya hoga maintain karna bahut difficult ho jayega pseudo incompatibility aa jayega to incompatibility ko use karne ki koi matlab nahi rahega kyunki half half ho jayega mixture ho jayega that kind of seed won't fetch much price also now elimination of self incompatibility अब तक हमने बात की हाइब्रिड सीड प्रोडक्शन करना चाहिए उसके लिए पॉलिनेशन कंट्रोल मैकेनिज्म्स मतलब सेल्फिंग को अवॉइड करने के मैकेनिज्म्स चाहिए दैट मींस वी शुड प्रमोट द क्रॉस पॉलिनेशन फॉर दैट वी कैन हार्नेस द प्रोटैंड्री प्रोटोगाइनी कंडीशन और वी मे गो फॉर हैंड इमैस्कुलेशन मेल स्टेरिलिटी सेल्फ इनकंपैटिबिलिटी देन जेनेटिक इंजीनियरिंग प्रोसेस और जस्ट रिमूविंग द स्टिग्मेटिक पोर्शन लाइक दैट सो all those things are okay but if we are not preferring self incompatibility at all to kya karna chahiye here by doubling the chromosome number of the species matlab colchicin treatment agar karenge ya koi bhi nitrous oxide like koi bhi chemical use karke hum chromosome double kar rahe hain to self incompatibility ko ek tarike se eliminate kar sakte hain identification of self compatible mutant plants from a population of plants developed by the same seeds agar self incompatibility dikh raha hai hum agar usme mutation induce kar payenge to we may get the self compatible mutant plants incorporation of self compatible genes of relative species or varieties of some species by backcross method matlab self incompatibility ko eliminate kar sakte hain backcross process se now temporary wo sab kya tha permanent removal matlab agar koi self incompatible line hai usko hum compatible line mein convert karna chahte hain to kya kar sakte hain colchicin treatment kar sakte hain ya मतलब क्रोमोसोम डबल कर डबलिंग कर सकते हैं म्यूटेशन ट्रीटमेंट कर सकते हैं या कंटिन्यूअस बैक क्रॉस कर सकते हैं ओके दोस वर परमानेंट सॉल्यूशंस लेकिन अगर हम टेंपरेरीली सप्रेस करना चाहते हैं तो हम क्या कर सकते हैं सर्जिकल टेक्निक कर सकते हैं जैसे कि मैंने बताया था रिमूवल ऑफ स्टिग्मेटिक सरफेस अगर स्पोरोफाइटिक सेल्फ इनकंपैटिबिलिटी है द होल स्टिग्मा और द पार्ट ऑफ होल स्टाइल मे बी रिमूव्ड अदरवाइज इनकंपैटिबल मेटिंग रिमूवल ऑफ द स्टिग्मा इज वेरी यूजफुल इन द स्पोरोफाइटिक सिस्टम्स लाइक ब्रासिकाओलेरेशिया 
सेकेंड टेम्पोरि रिमूवल ऑफ सेल्फ इनकम्पैटिबिलिटी मैकेनिज्म है एंड ऑफ सीजन पॉलिनेशन इसमें क्या कर सकते हैं डिग्री ऑफ इनकम्पैटिबिलिटी इज रेड्यूस्ड टूअर्ड द एंड ऑफ फ्लावरिंग सीजन और इन मेच्योर प्लांट्स तो क्या कर सकते हैं पहले ही मतलब अगर एक सीजन शुरू हो गया है तो पॉलिनेशन हर प्लांट में अगर एक पॉपुलेशन लेंगे हर प्लांट का पॉलिनेशन एक ही बार नहीं हो जाएगा यूनिफॉर्म पॉलिनेशन नहीं होगा तो क्या होगा एंड सीजन में मतलब लेट सीजन में हम पॉलिनेशन करेंगे तो डिग्री ऑफ इनकम्पैटिबिलिटी भी उस टाइम में रेड्यूस रहेगा तो कंपैटिबिलिटी को हम अचीव कर सकते हैं हाई टेम्परेचर हाई टेम्परेचर लाइक ट्राइफोलियम हाइब्रिडम में जिसमें सिंगल डोमिनेंट जीन प्रोड्यूस रहता है यहाँ पे सेल्फ इनकम्पैटिबिलिटी 32 डिग्री सेल्सियस में होता है तो हम अगर उसको हाई टेम्परेचर मतलब 32 से एबो देंगे तो क्या होगा ट्राइफोलियम हाइड्रेटम में कंपैटिबिलिटी बढ़ जाएगी इंक्रीज कार्बन डाइऑक्साइड कॉन्सेंट्रेशन कोई कोई स्पीशीज ब्रासिका स्पीशीज में कार्बन डाइऑक्साइड कॉन्सेंट्रेशन बढ़ाएंगे तो क्या होगा हम कंपैटिबिलिटी अचीव कर पाएंगे हाई ह्यूमिडिटी जैसे मैंने बताया था पॉलीबैग डाल के उस मतलब अगर हम फ्लावरिंग पोर्शन पे पॉलीबैग से कवर करेंगे तो क्या होगा उसमें ह्यूमिडिटी बढ़ जाएगा मतलब वो प्लांट का पूरा मॉइस्चर लेगा तो वहाँ पे कार्बन डाइऑक्साइड कॉन्सेंट्रेशन भी बढ़ जाएगा एंड साथ साथ में मैं आपको दिखाती हूँ अगर ये मेज़ का टैसल है फॉर एग्जाम्पल मैं दे रही हूँ ठीक है मेज़ में ऐसे इनकम्पैटिबिलिटी ज़्यादा विजिबल नहीं होता है बट अगर ये एक टैसल है मेल पोर्शन है तो हम क्या करेंगे इसको एक पॉलीथीन से कवर करेंगे और यहाँ पे टाई अप करेंगे तो क्या होगा अगर हम एक दिन पहले ऐसे करेंगे तो यहाँ पे मॉइस्चर बढ़ जाएगा इसके अंदर एज वेल एज रेस्पिरेशन मतलब कार्बन डाइऑक्साइड कॉन्सेंट्रेशन भी बढ़ जाएगा तो क्या होगा कंपैटिबिलिटी इजीली हम अचीव कर पाएंगे नेक्स्ट इज सॉल्ट स्प्रे चाइनीज वर्कर्स हैव डेवलप्ड ए सॉल्ट स्प्रे टेक्निक टू ओवरकम द सेल्फ इन कम्पैटिबिलिटी इन ब्रेसिका नेपर्स इन दिस टेक्निक द फ्लावर्स आर स्प्रेड विद फाइव टू टेन परसेंट ऑफ सोडियम क्लोराइड सोल्यूशन फॉर थ्री टू फाइव डेज मेथड इज ईजी एक्नॉमिकल एंड इज इफेक्टिव एज बट पॉलिनेशन देन डबल पॉलिनेशन इरेडिएशन इरेडिएशन जैसे कि स्टाइलर पोर्शन में एक्स रे इरेडिएशन कर सकते हैं लाइक पेटोनिया में गामा इरेडिएशन कर सकते हैं इन लाइको परसिकन मतलब टोमेटो में गामा इरेडिएशन कर सकते हैं एंड पेटोनिया में एक्सरे रेडिएशन क्वाइट यूजफुल है देन इन विटो फर्टिलाइजेशन यहां पे क्या करते हैं प्लेसिंग द पोलिन ग्रेन इन डायरेक्ट कॉन्टेक्ट विद ओवियल रिजल्टिंग इन ब्रेक डाउन ऑफ सेल्फ इन कंपैटिबिलिटी इन मेनी स्पीशीज सो फ्रेंड्स सो फार हमने देखा कि सेल्फ कंपैटिबिलिटी क्या होता है इनकम्पैटिबिलिटी क्या होता है उसके बाद में हम देख रहे थे कि कैसे मेल स्टेलिटी सेल्फ इनकम्पैटिबिलिटी से डिफरेंट है देन क्लासिफिकेशन ऑफ सेल्फ इनकम्पैटिबिलिटी पांच टाइप का क्लासिफिकेशन हमने देखा फिर उसके बाद में हमने सेल्फ इनकम्पैटिबिलिटी मैकेनिज्म कैसे होता है हाउ वी कैन यूटिलाइज इट इन द ब्रीडिंग प्रोग्राम देन वी ऑल्सो सॉ हाउ टू एलिमिनेट द सेल्फ इनकम्पैटिबिलिटी प्रोसेस इफ वी आर नॉट इंटरेस्टेड सो आई होप द concept whatever i explained is helpful to you if you like this video please do not forget to share subscribe and like the video so thanks for your patience listening and watching thank you once again